All right, y'all know how this go. Let's get this cup of water. We do this every month. Let's go. <laughs> Hey guys, Nikki here and I am back with my spoiling myself. You guys know I do this once at the end of every month, the things that I collected collectively throughout the whole month um you guys know i went from being on a no buy and i transitioned to a low buy because i said that i work entirely too hard to restrict myself and so it's not going to be as massive as my other spoiling myself videos but it's still a lot <laughs> a lot lot heavy heavy on the perfume heavy so let's go so just like any other spoiling myself video it will be sponsored by dossier yay you guys know i love dossier because of course i love perfume and dossier is getting it they are the best inspired perfumes that i have ever came across okay i talk about dossier all the time even when they are not sponsoring me my blogs you guys see i use dossier every freaking day um i use it as a refreshener i just love dossier you can get your bottles starting at 29 39 i think they have some that go up to 49 because they are now making our favorites like baccarat creed and all that so it's a little bit more expensive but if you want gucci fragrances lancome fragrances they start at like 29 dollars so you guys know that i have a collection which i will pop in a clip i i switch my dossier perfumes around all the time i just switched them in my latest vlog um but i have two new scents that i am going to show you guys today so this is the box right here how they will come to you in this discreet little box and you just open the flap like this and so it says iconic scents designer quality no markup so in here is a card with the name of the perfume the notes what it's inspired by the concentration and a thank you and how it works so that will come in the box also what I love about dossier is they do put a little sample in here you try this little sample this is like this is you figuring out if you're gonna commit to this or not because some of us have commitment problems okay or you might not like it or it might not sit well on your skin tone not skin tone your your body chemistry so this is floral must so you spray the sample you know test it out for a day if you don't like it you can send this back to dossier this as in the full bottle and get your money back if you like it you keep it and you got a little sample to put in your purse so this is the bottle right here really chic So this is the bottle right here, really chic, magnetic top, fits in with all your other fragrances. Not a lot of shebang, shaboom about the bottle, but it's chic, it's, it fits in with everything, like I said. So this is Floral Musk, and it is inspired by Lancome Auto Et de Perfume, Parfume, which I don't have. I think that's the skinny bottle, but this smells awesome. Let me see yeah and if i have this why would i go and get that so this is the first one that i have and then over here i know this is inspired by gucci bloom it is floral honeysuckle and what i do is just take my label maker and put what it's inspired by on the bottle on the bottom because it don't say it on the bottle so this is inspired by gucci bloom and you guys know i love this you guys make fun of me all the time and say it's like an old lady scent but i'm an old lady so <laughs> no but for real i love this it's strong it's giving me very much dorothy blanche kind of giving me like the chanel-ish vibes like department store but i love it i really do so yeah i will leave the link to dossier below along with my discount code it is working now because y'all was like yo platinum yo code ain't working it is working now so go over and check out dossier they have so many fragrances to choose from high and low end and you're gonna love it over there let's move on so I told you guys I was going to be heavy on the fragrances, so bear with me if fragrances is not your thing. I will link everything below, including what I have on. Let's go. So this is random fragrances that I picked up. I'm, no, I'm not going to say I'm done. But y'all, I just love this stuff, okay? So I don't even know where to start. Let's just go. I picked up Huda Beauty's Kylie Sweet Diamond. If you guys watch my vlogs, you probably have seen most of these. So let's just go here's the packaging and here's the bottle initially i did not like this but it grew on me and this lady is hitting it with fragrances it makes me want to collect every single last one of her fragrances because they're 80 to 100 dollars a bottle and they just hit it they're just good 
So I also got Dolce and Gabbana the Imperatrice. I got this because everybody who spread say it smells like watermelon and I do agree. My cousin says she don't smell the watermelon but I smell it all the way. And I actually got this off Groupon for like $40. And then when I just went to Austin this past weekend I did see it in Marshalls also for $35. So I wish I would have waited but yeah I got this and I do like this. So I also got Alien for my plug which I will leave below. How my plug work is you do a friend's request and you message her or you just wait for her to post what she has and then you message her and tell her I sent you and buy it. She do ship. Um, she she don't do special requests and all that and this is authentic perfume um, of course. So this is Alien Floral I want to say. Yeah Alien Floral. It's the pink bottle. You guys know I'm getting into these fragrances Alien a lot. So yeah, I picked up the pink bottle and I really, really enjoy this. In my vlog, I sprayed it and let it sit and it grew on me. It does have a note in it that I don't really care for, but it's not enough to not let me, to, for me not to like the perfume, if that makes sense. So also in Marshalls, I got Aura by Mugler. Look at this bottle just hitting it I gotta help find another stand one of you guys Erica sent me stands but they're like too big to sit this on because of the shape but Bay said I should have took this back but it's something about it that's making me hold on to it it's not just ooh grab it every day for me but I do like it for some reason it's strange so I picked that up it was $49 and then the last spoiler myself I got I got the other the red one by Dior and this is the green one in Poison I do not like this at all. So if Big Suge um, don't like it, it will be in a giveaway because that just wasn't for me. Dior really can't do sense to me. I like Jador and something else I like, but I have not fell in love with a uh, Dior scent, honestly. So you guys saw that I replaced my Gucci Guilty. My plug had it for like $35. So I was like, why not? Because I showed you guys my bottle is low. Like two more sprays and it's out of there so I went ahead and replaced it while she had it I also got coach the original coach this comes in like pink and everything but this is the original one this grew on me as well I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep it but 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 I am that also came from my plug also from my plug I got Versace bright crystal absolute it's the dark pink bottle I have the yellow bottle the light pink and I was like, oh, let me go ahead and get that. This is a fresh, everyday scent. Love it. And I just got Noir, 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 however you say it, but it hasn't made it yet. So it'll be a next spoil of myself. Because if you didn't know, right now, Versace has these sets where if you buy the perfume, you get a full Versace backpack. And the gift sets are like between $99 and $120. And you get a full Versace backpack. Get it just for the backpack. And Noir, Noir, Noir is the only Versace scent that I do not have. So I got this scent just to get the backpack. And heads up, if you get it in the men's scent, the backpack is silver hardware. The women is gold hardware. So if you want both, get your bull scent so you can have a silver and a gold. Well, they're black, but Versace backpack. So I also got the Christian Louboutin set, sample set. Um, this was roughly $60 at Neiman Marcus because a full bottle of this fragrance is $300 and something dollars. So this is a way to have all of them and honestly all of them smell alike. I text my cousin was like, am I tripping or do all these smell alike? She was like, no, you're not tripping at all. And she said they don't last that long. So $300 and something dollars on a bottle. Nah, I'll stick with the red bottom. See, that's red. Red bottoms be tripping because you know they shoes high and they hurt. Like, it don't make no sense for your shoes to be that expensive, and they hurt, but people get them just because they're red bottom, and so they're trying to trick us with the perfume, too, and that ain't it, y'all. That ain't it. So, I went to the CCO. Um, that will be in my vlog Monday. It will go up after this video, um, and I got Tom for Mandarino de Al... Ooh, Amanda. Hold on, y'all. ML Fi Aqua. <laughs> this is the 3.4 ounce the big boy the big boy at the cco tom ford 92 dollars 
Yeah, I saved $185. Check out your local CCO. They get new cents in every day. Joe Malone, Killing and Tom Ford, along with the Estee Lauder, Glencombe, DKNY, Tory Burch type fragrances too. But you can get the hard hitters in there, dirt cheap for real. Um, just go in there every day. They pop out different stuff every day. Or get in good with a worker. You get what I'm saying? So that's all of the regular scents I got. And then I have been telling you guys in my vlog that I went on the hunt for peach perfumes. I saw a TikTok and she was like, if you like peach, you need these scents. And I got every single last one of them. The ones that I didn't already have. So let's go. I, I do it between takes. I put the stuff up. So when I'm done recording, I'm done. Girl, yeah, my eyes make a so loud. I'm like the... I'm just so all over the place, huh? But yeah, I love me. Let's move it to the peach. Peach, I get my Georgia. How the song go, y'all? See, I get my peaches out in Georgia. Hold up. All right, it's I get my peaches out in Georgia. Uh 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 uh. That's the song everybody used showing these peach scents. So it all started with. <laughs> okay, I don't know where to start. Okay, okay. So they said that. KKW, which her packaging is adorb, but I'm going to end up throwing it away. I sure hate that. I got um, Crystal Peach, of course. Love this. Look, as a matter of fact, I love this. Mm. It was only like 30 bucks, and then, like, if it's your first order, they send you a $10 off coupon. Girl, you know I'm going to link it below. Stop playing with Big Flat. So everybody was like, if you love that, you'll love the $5 dupe at Five Below. So you guys went with me, we searched, and we got it. Okay. This is what that dupe bottle looked like. Is it really a dupe? Nah, they both have like a honey peach scent. But I don't think it's really a dupe. But it smells good for $5. Do it last? I don't know, but it's a good refresher. Okay. So they said five and below. Then I went to Burlington, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. All of them have these. They have one in a yellow bottle. My friend Alfreda recommended the yellow bottle, but it wasn't too much my type of scent. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say it wasn't my, too much my type of scent, but I didn't love it enough to pay. It's, they're only $10, and I got so many fragrances that I didn't love it enough to get it. But I did love these two. So this is Nectarine Blush and Freesia. You know, nectar and give off peach vibes is basically the same thing it just don't have no hair honey it's the shave version and then this is indulgent moments that's the brand pros petals and white peach now i love the pink bottle more than i like wait which one did i like the most now i can't smell them. one of these at the end of my last vlog, I told y'all which one I liked the most. I can't remember off the top of my head. But both of them smell good and they were only 10 bucks. So, let's move into the peach TikTok. Alright. Whoever convinced me to do this. Let mama fix herself. So, the peach TikTok recommended all these scents and I got them. <laughs> so, this, I don't even know how to pronounce this. La Yukawama Jasmine Wisp. The container is, I don't even want to throw this away. This is wood. It didn't come in a box. It came in this wood. But why do I need this? Oh, it's so neat. Yeah, so this is this one. Oh my gosh, I got it off Amazon and I didn't have to pay for this. You guys know I'm an Amazon affiliate and I work with Amazon heavily. So a lot of stuff I do not have to pay for on Amazon. So that's what saved me too. A lot of stuff, you know, I be getting free gifted we on a no buy low buy help people gift your stuff girl pull your strings all right uh, yes it has a very peach undertone to it but it's grown and sexy peach this is like grown peach i think this is like 80 bucks Ugh, i love i love all of these so i'm not gonna say that let's just go princess by killian they said this is a peach this is so hard to find right now sign up on the website and they will notify you when they are back in stock sweet this is super sweet super super sweet but i am falling in love with killian y'all he could do some fragrances a lot of people say they don't like that after they get it but i love it i hope i don't be one of them people like start running a lot and then it don't do nothing for me but initially at the bottle it's bum because you guys know i love sweet fruity type powdery fresh 
linen type scents. I don't like anything too masculine, which we are going to talk about later because guess what's going to grow me, y'all? Baccarat. But it's, it grew on me because when I do wear it, I've been wearing the Dossier version, I ain't going to lie. When I do wear it, everybody stop me. I'm like, so now I like it. <laughs> so you guys, stop me on a hunt for Rihanna Rubble Floor. I used to have this back in the day. My old perfume collection video, you will see I was on two drops. And I just never repurchased, repurchased it because I have so many fragrances. Man, I went on a hunt. Y'all saw me. And I got two bottles. You know one I'm going to get a should. But uh, I got the little bottle. Miss Rebel Floor. It is a peach scent. The, all these scents have peach in them. So, Huda Beauty Kylie. Floral. Deja Vu White Flower 57. My eyes, y'all. That's heavy on the peach. Oh, I love this. She just gets it. She gets it. Mm, I've never tried any of her makeup, but she gets that fragrance, y'all. And then this last one, I searched high and low at Ross for it because I knew if I found it at Ross, it was going to be cheap. Viva La Juicy. Juicy Couture Sucre. Sucre? Sucre? For one, it's peach. And for two, this bottle is just too dang adorable. Look at this bottle. It's like a Reese Peasy Cup thing, but go. This, and this smells Oh. But I had to get, I had to pay like $80 for it because they don't make it anymore and it's so hard to find. That's why I knew if I found it in Marshall's, TJ Maxx, Ross or something, it would have been cheap. So, I can't even pick my favorite because I love every single last one of these peach scents. It, some of them got a hint of peach, some of it all peach, some of it, it, I just love them all guys. So if you love peach, boom, I just told you what to get. <laughs> Let's move into some jewelry I got. All right, guys. So we're going to test that peach scent out all day because I did spray it on. And let's move it to jewelry, which is very, very quick. My perfume plug do sell like Coach, Kate Spade, um, Kendra Scott jewelry, wristlets and stuff. So she sent me some free items because I've sent so many of you guys over her way. Um, so she sent me this Kendra Scott necklace, which... You guys can't really see it because I'm so far away and she not getting up, okay? Um, I showed it in a vlog. So, then she sent me this cute blue wristlet. I have a friend who loves blue. So, I might give that to her because you guys know I'm not really a wristlet person. Um, and I don't want her gift to just like sit up. Okay, and then... Laura Mercier stay sending me stuff guys if you guys remember one of my vlogs they sent me a rose gold diamond chain and I didn't have any pendants for it so I had my jeweler make me a rose gold CEO emblem and you guys know my wedding my um wedding rings rose gold now so I'm like let me give me some rose gold jewelry and then I got a cross emblem that he already had made so yeah that's all of the jewelry girl let's move into the bougie on the budget right, so this is not nearly as massive as it usually is i cannot tell you guys where i'm getting this stuff i say that all the time here i am not dropping no links y'all know what to do so i got a purr it is not no runner as massive as it usually is because I'm on a low buy. And then you guys know I was just buying this stuff to fill out my rack, which I'll show you guys. <laughs> um, so I did get, I needed a red purse with, girl, girl, girl. I needed a red purse with gold hardware, so I did get this YSL purse. I love this. I love the quality. I love the size because a lot of times when I'm going out to eat and stuff and I have my little crossbodies, it's I still can't fit much in them. So I need to be able to fit my blogging camera, my phone, and my wallet in them at least. So yeah, this is a good size right here. You can wear it like this, of course, or you can like we it the long way so I did get that and she did fill it with I'm out of room she did fill it with goodies so she put a Fendi head scarf in there like a bandeau bandeau twilly type scarf she did put a Chanel mask in there some hair ties look at these cute little hair ties 
a Gucci one. And this one right here is Chanel. It's a hair tie. And then this is a baggie full of studs. Like LV. All of them are LV look like it. So thank you boo for the goodies. The extra goodies. So this is from someone else. If you guys watched last week's vlog. I did have on a Versace swimsuit. The person who I got it from had a sale. So I got the LV one. Super cute. This one right here is Balmain. I had to get out of one piece, girl, because them two pieces were like strings. I would have fat rolls hanging out everywhere. And this one right here is the Versace one. So, yeah. I got those. And then, back to my bougie person. She had a giveaway. I told you guys about the giveaway. <laughs> and I won the robe like i have i have the real one that real one did not come like this at all it came in a sleek black box with tissue paper and all that i don't even know what size this one is i'm trying to figure out what i'm gonna do with it it's like tape open i mean tape closed so i was gonna try to see what size it is but i don't feel like going through all that right now because i was like should i keep my real one should I sell my real one on Poshmark and just wear this one? And she was like, Mom, that's dumb. Why would you sell the real one? So I'm like, I don't need to. So I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with this. Follow me on Snapchat or something. And we'll figure out what we're going to do with this, okay? But as of right now, I won the giveaway and I was so excited. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I finally won some. And then also, and then also for my person, I got these Louis Gladiator shoes. Just some sandals. This little part wraps around your ankle. It says LV. Alright, and then I also got these slides, which are fantasy slides because I don't think Gucci make this kind of uh, slides. They got the double G's on them, but I'm going to still be cute, boo. I don't judge. Do what you do, honey. Y'all know I say all the time. I just spend my money on what I like. They real heavy, too. God. They not cheapy at all. Oh, and they feel so good on my feet. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. That's all of the balling on a budget stuff. Y'all want to get to the real deal, holy feel? It's a good one. This is the shortest spoil of myself I've done. Told y'all I'm on a blow by. The next one might get a little smile or two. I'm, I'm doing better, y'all. I'm a, When y'all see why I went on this low buy, I'm trying to pay some off in six months. Y'all going to be like, you did that. <laughs> and did. <laughs> this salon, I did get one pair of shoes from Shoe Deal. You guys know I love Shoe Deal. $12.97, okay? Love, 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 love this store for quick on point trendy fashionable shoes okay they have all the dupes not replicas it's a different dupes of like your favorite follow me on tiktok i show you guys the dupes so i got this one pair it is just a clear and rhinestone pair thong type shoe that was very good child very very good because you guys know i go in there and go crazy and then half them shoes over here still brand new. So I did get these and I absolutely love these shoes, guys. So, so freaking cute. I actually, I love Shoe Deal. They are a local store. Um, they do have an online website, but they don't really stock their online website. Um, so I'm sorry. You can just Google and see if y'all have them. But I know that this is like a Dallas-based store. Um, and I just love them. Been going there for years, years. Like even when my mom was still alive. So back then all they shoes was $9.99 and then they would, would, would reduce them down to $4.99 to get rid of like shoes for the next season but yeah I absolutely love these I hope you guys can see the true beauty in them it's not going to help because it's white but oh gosh I just love these if you follow me you watch my vlogs you'll see where I try them on girl they cute on my feet and I love the shoes I can slide in because I'm always like boo or Shug help me because my nails so long well Shug can't anymore because her nails long and when I could just slide in them like this it makes everybody in this life in this house life easier all right <laughs>
all right guys let's get down to the nitty gritty i got a floor full of stuff not that much okay so one of you guys sent me these and i can't even lie i have been eyeballing these on the website and it's so sweet because you said because i know you're on a low buy no buy and i was just like oh that's so sweet so yeah this is the coach purple slides they are called the Ulula rubber slides i do know that they come in other colors like pink and i don't know the other colors black maybe um but yeah i love these they're rubber you guys know i'm a coach girl um all the way from the lower end fashion houses all the way up i enjoy everything if it's cute it's cute to me and one of you guys tried to argue me up and down under one of my videos and was like sweetheart coach is not lower end and when i say lower end fashion houses let me educate the people real quick because y'all be trying it a uh, fashion house is the designer houses like coach like louis vuitton gucci coach tory birch and there is a ranking <laughs> okay it starts at like kate spade coach tory birch some stuff i'm about to show you then it go up to like gucci louis then it go up to like chanel it's so it is a lower end of the fashion houses i know what i'm talking about. i ain't say it was lower end it's the lower end of the fashion houses okay i don't even know why there was an argument they they said that like i was downgrading it how am i downgrading it and i wear it i digress um but yeah i saw a post and little baby head on coach and i'm like the price about to go up so i just popped my coach on somebody on the instagram you know <laughs> And that picture got a lot of likes. I really, really like that picture. So, yeah. That's my slides. I forgot to show you guys this. How did I forget to show you guys this? This should have been in my bougie section. But this came from my good bougie plug. The, the, the Okay, we here. I needed a new bag with silver hardware. So, I just got a double flap not sure how i feel about this double flap though came with the dust bag because it, is it me or this look a little yellow okay let me just help y'all out i'm gonna just see it right here i'm gonna see it sits right there it's supposed to be nude which it is but it's pulling yellow let me show you guys something so you guys see my other nude bags this is like the gucci one this is the boy bag and this is the jumbo double flap, large double flap, one of them. You see what I'm saying? Can y'all see all of them? Don't they pull yellow? You see, it does different variations of nude, and then that looks a little yellow to me. Do it to y'all. Let me know if it do to y'all, cause I'm I'm about to I'm about to get rid of this, cause I don't want to. I want it to be nude. Like I love this color nude right here. I love that color. Let me know what y'all think. Let me get a thumbnail since I'm right here. So, yeah, I got that. So, you guys, I showed you in a vlog that I got me a... I've been pronouncing this wrong, y'all. Telfar. I've been saying Telfar. Telfar bag. And I did get eggplant, like... Uh, yeah y'all guessed that right um yeah i did get it i had to get it out poshmark i will leave poshmark below sign up you get ten dollars off your first whatever i don't have anything in my store but you can find great finds you can find these bags just be very careful because people are duping these bags now so make sure it's authentic and from an authentic seller they do mark them up that's their hustle they get them because you can't hardly get these on a website unless you're on and on it and so the people who are on it on it buy them and then resell them on Poshmark for like $100, $200 more than they are on the website. Yes, ma'am. That's the price you got to pay. Um, I tried to get the lilac one. You guys saw that in the vlog, but I missed it and I was kind of upset. And I'm not going to pay that much for it on Poshmark. I just missed it, honey. I missed it. So, yeah. A lot of you guys have mixed feelings about this bag, but it's black on. So, honey, I'm going to support um and yeah i finally got me one in purple it did come here's the plastic that it was in i'm gonna cover the couch and here is the dust bag all right so you guys saw listen 
you guys know I have so many rainbow bags and I probably have only worn two of them. They're both coast the Circle Canteen one and the one I just had on last weekend that has the little pouch to it. And every time I show rainbow bags, you guys are like, check out Kurt Geiger, check out Kurt Geiger. And I was just like, I be seeing his pieces out everywhere. I be seeing the advertisers on Instagram. So I finally went on the website and I love his advertising. He has like disabled people, people of color and everything. I don't know what he is. I need to do a little bit more research. And he's a lawyer in Fashion House as well, like Coach um, Tory Burch price range. And so I was like, nah, nah. And then I was on Facebook one day and it was like 50% off summer sale. And I'm like, this is it. Go on shop, girl. Go on shop. So he's infamous for his rainbow bags. Okay. Um, heads up, it is sold at Dillard's, Nordstrom's, if you have one of those kind of credit cards. But I just went and got some stuff off the 50% rack to see if I love this designer. And I do. So now I want more, but I'm on this low buy, so I'm like, I'm not just going to be buying stuff just to buy stuff. But he do have this one rainbow bag that I want. It's very much Chanel. All his pieces are kind of Chanel-ish. Um, but I'm going to see. I'm going to see. I don't even know where to start. So I just got some plain. I'm going on vacation soon, so a lot of this stuff is for the vacation. I got some plain black shoes. They're just plain black. Kind of put you in the mind of like nothing. They're just plain black. So I love little slides like this to just slide in. But these are too small because I got a 37. I should have got a 38. I used to be a 39 and then my foot shrunk. So I don't know what made me skip 38 and get 37. But they're a little too small. So they're going to have to go back, y'all. I kept the receipt right here because they're too small. I honestly don't remember ordering no 37. Like, why would I order a 37? Let me look and see if that a glitch. Nope, 37 on her biggest day. So these were $60. I'll keep the receipt out. Normally, these were all 50% off, remember, guys. So they would have been 100 but they were $60 during this sale. Um, yeah, so... I got them off the website, which isn't based in the United States, but my stuff did come super fast anyway. So next, so next is this bag right here, the extra extra large Kingstonton bag. And it says this is brown, y'all, but this is gray. Honey, this is gray. And it reminds me of that jumbo flap from Chanel. That really, really, really jumbo. Not jumbo flap. It's called something else. I got the dupe black one to it. It's really, really big. His symbol is like the eagle head. This is like soft plush leather. Very roomy in the inside, guys. And this bag was $157 only. So normally $300, a little over $300 if I wouldn't have got it 50% off. So, yeah, he's still a lot of uh, stuff on the 50% off that's marked down. And I don't have any gray handbags. So this is just like right up my alley. It's so soft. Oh, my gosh. I love this. I love this. I love this. All right, so that's that. So then I'm going on vacation. So I got some straw pieces, which uh, didn't quite work out. But it is called the Kingsington Basket. And it was only $58, normally $100. And it has like his little, it has like his little signature rainbow stuff right here. So if you guys can see, he's known for like this signature rainbow look, metallic and regular. And he has the eagle head with the rainbow crystals in the head, okay? So, yeah, love, 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 love this. Love this. I haven't seen too many other people talk about this brand on here. And I ordered this stuff on the 7th. Yeah, I ordered it on the 7th. So I've been having it a minute. I just was saving it to show it to you guys. So, to go with that, I ordered the Kingsington Bucket Hat and Camel. It was only $22.50, guys, so normally $40. I don't like it. <laughs> what made me order this? <laughs> it got the eagle head right here. No, what made me order it, because I thought I was going to be real cute by the pool or something, but it's two different straws. I probably could still make it work. And then I'm like, how am I going to look like? I'm going to look like somebody green in this hat. Go. Oh, look. Oh, maybe not. What y'all think? 
Girl, we gotta make it work because I got it now. But it has, did I say that? Yeah, it's right there. And then last, I didn't get like any of the signature bags, like the rainbow bag and stuff he's known for. I got the Odina bag in black. This bag does come in white. Oop, nope, that's not what that is. That's the shoes. The shoes are the Odina shoes. This is called the Shore Ditch Small Crossbody. And it was $108, so it normally would be $200. And y'all, I was disappointed because it says small, but I didn't know it was going to be this small. Well, it ain't tiny. Um, but I still love it. So this is what it looked like right here. Oh, it's so cute. It has the rainbow, but in crystals. And then even the eagle head has the rainbow, and it just has Kurt Geiger, or is it Geiger? I don't know how it's pronounced right here. And it has the chain, double chain. I love the way they're doing bags like this. So you can wear it like, you know, a tote or you can turn it into a crossbody. Or you can turn it into a crossbody. I love that. And it did come with extra crystals over here to the side. Now this is one of them purses I'm like, I can only fit my phone in it. My wallet won't even fit in here. So I need to give me a cute little card holder. But when I go, go on dates and just need to put my credit card and my license and stuff. Um, I probably, oh, I do have a Louis Vuitton card holder. I'm tripping. So, um, yeah, that's everything I got from Kurt. I got all of that for under, it was $420. You normally would have been a thousand, but he was having a 50% off sale. So I will link the sale link below as well. So, yeah, guys, that's everything. It wasn't as massive as they usually are, but it was still pretty big. I will leave the link to everything below. Please don't forget to check out Dossier. I love them over there. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.